Hello, Libras. It is the Sun Sage. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your September general reading, where I am taking a look at the month of September for Libra placements and even cross watchers um, to give you some insight on what's going on in the month of September. This can be energy predictions. Um, it can pertain to love, finances, life in general. So Libras, let's go ahead and see what is going on. Keep in mind, this is a general message. So if it does not resonate for you and you need something more specific, check out that link in the description box. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it, Libras. Let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of September. I want to get some main themes for you. Friendship. Virgo had that. So some of you um, could be Virgo, Libra, Cuspers. Ask for help. All right. Free spirit. Okay. You could like... Be, find your tribe in September, or you could just feel really free with, um, you know, a social circle, people you're around. You could even have just one friend, um, you're, you're going throughout the month with. You guys are always, uh, giving each other advice, uh, helping each other. Um, there could be someone very special to you, like a friend that you are having significant moments with in the month of April. I mean, I'm sorry, in the month of September, you may have met this person in April. That person may be in Aries for some of you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at why we have these messages. So let's start with friendship. So um, let's take a look at why friendship is here for Libras. Judgment. Okay. I feel like somebody comes to you for advice or you go to someone for advice. There could be a friend that you feel makes bad decisions. I feel like you're, um, let's see the devil. Yeah. I feel like there's like a friend you have that you could absolutely love. There could also be, this could be about like a situationship, right? This could be like a friend zone or a situationship type dynamic where it does feel like, you you could feel in September somebody makes bad decisions, but you love them anyway. You could feel like connecting to somebody who can come across as toxic or makes bad decisions or toxic decisions could um, be someone that you 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 need to like friend zone. OK, if you're like intimate with this person. I do have a king of swords at the bottom that can represent your energy. Also Aquarius, Gemini, and um, Capricorn here. Scorpio as well. So be mindful. September could be a month where there's like there is there there could be some type of trouble within a friendship dynamic with judgment and the devil. I'm just getting this strong energy of like be careful who you're hanging out with. All right, even that King of Swords came across as like the law. You know, it comes across as like authority. All right, there you could have a friend um that breaks the law for a cross watcher. This could be a Libra that makes bad decisions. The Four of Wheels. Okay, um. I also feel like some of you are dealing with someone who you could feel like in a complicated like love situation with. You could feel in September you want to hold on to this person, but you could start to look at the situation as is this just sexual? Something somebody could be realizing that something is just sexual or cross watcher. This could be the energy with you connected to a Libra. All right. The two of pentacles. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting the energy. Some of you do have like a friend or somebody you you do feel comfortable with. You you could feel like this relationship is one where it's representative of the old you, things you could want to change about yourself or coming in. You could be changing your mind about this individual, all right? Some of you have a very intense, passionate relationship or connection with this person, but it, it definitely could feel like you're going back and forth in September over whether to hold on to them or whether to release them. I feel like you could have a friend or Libra. You could be the friend. Yeah, there it is. Queen of Swords, Six of Wands. You could have a friend that's giving you advice or you could 
um, be the friend that's giving somebody advice in this type of situation. I feel like somebody is speaking their their truth, though. Somebody's definitely speaking up for themselves, um, speaking the truth about a situation. The Queen of Swords with the Six of Wands. There could be somebody here who just does things for attention and you call it out. I'm also getting the energy of you changing your mind or changing your opinion, something that you were very like strongly opinionated about. Um, you could be changing your mind on it. That could even be a person. Somebody, so, something feels like somebody's right. The Queen of Swords with the Six of Wands. This feels like clarity and victory. Um, it feels like a recognition for what you were saying. So you could also be like a public speaker. That's, that's kind of the vibe that comes across with this. You could be speaking publicly about something. You could be online speaking about something. You could be, um, you know, convincing a friend that's what they need to do right speak up you guys could be trying to support somebody in the month of september and encourage them to speak up okay you could be a strong supporter of this person so you have asked for help this is either you in the position of guidance um or like helping and advising someone or someone could be coming to you there are some libras here that could be lawyers or could be seeking a lawyer in the month of september okay i do feel like if you get a lawyer there's a possibility they could be like um, I feel like they win <laughs> a lot of cases. Show me, ask for help. So you could be in good hands legally for, I'm, I'm sorry, the fool. Yeah, you're being advised to seek help or counseling on a new beginning that you're taking. You're taking a leap of faith towards something, but before you do, um, I do feel like, you know, asking around, you know, before you just jump and take this leap of faith. There's something you want to jump into. It could be a business venture. For some of you, it could be a new relationship with the fool. <laughs> There's the Knight of Wands. So some of you could be wanting to take a leap of faith towards someone new, all right, and put somebody in the friend zone. So with me looking at this energy, some of you may be coming to the realization that um, a person that you've been connected to is, is kind of just physical or they're more, like I say, a reflection of like a type that you used to like or something that you used to be into, just physical relationships. It feels like you want to take a, take a leap of faith in a new direction. Some of you may meet someone new, okay? Um, some of you feel like you're being encouraged to ask somebody for help who could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. I'm also getting um, Leo Aries. You could be um, asking for help about where to travel to, where to make your next moves. I feel like there's some type of venture you just want to leap into. All right. But you are being encouraged to get advice first. The chariot, you definitely want to move, go somewhere. Um, you definitely want to, um, I feel like you want to have, you want to experience some sort of changes. Okay. In your life in September. And so it does feel like you're very ambitious. You're very confident. You're wanting to succeed at something very strongly. Cancer energy here. I got two. So the vic. I'm sorry. The the chariot, which can be victory or mean victory, winning. The hierophant and the ten of wheels. Somebody could be thinking about marriage. All right. Um, you could have a fire sign here thinking about marrying you. A fire sign or a water sign. Thinking about marrying you, specifically a Cancer. Aquarius is in this energy as well. This is also about seeking guidance, advice, spiritual insight here. Yeah, you are being encouraged to ask for help. Um, this person, this wise person, it could be an older member of your family. It could be a priest. It could be a pastor. It could be somebody who is very spiritual, but somebody who feels like they encourage some type of um, stability and encourage you to to invest in some sort of stability okay somebody is also thinking about settling down with you it feels like this knight of wands person is wanting to move forward with you they're realizing they want to settle down they could be asking somebody about this i did pick up the energy of a lawyer right or some type of legal or authority figure so somebody could be having real official conversations about marriage and um you know the process the steps towards that five of pentacles if you're moving on to a new relationship there's a person here that feels left out in the cold could be a taurus 
there's somebody here that feels it could be the, uh, a Libra. Um, if you're a cross watcher, yeah, somebody's life is about to change. If you're leaving them out in the cold, some of you do have this, uh, this breakthrough, this sense of clarity about a certain relationship. And it feels like you do move on to a new relationship. Somebody moves on to a new relationship and it leaves someone feeling left out in the cold. It leaves that person feeling like, what am I going to do now with the will of fortune? Okay. So things are absolutely changing because of a relationship is what it looks like to a cups. I am getting that somebody is interested in a long-term relationship with you, marriage with you. This person has been talking to their family. Somebody could even want to move. Okay. Together. They could want to travel. You could, this person could let you know that they want to be with you long-term. So, okay, so that took a turn. So you guys went from some type of toxic situation, a friendship or situationship, and you're like, let me just friend zone this person. And you take this leap towards another um, another relationship. And it does feel like this person um, that you had a toxic situation with, once you establish some boundaries, this person gets left because there's someone here who's seriously wanting to settle down. You could be needing to seek guidance about this individual because they do want to settle down, but I'm getting the energy of somebody who's kind of spontaneous and impulsive, right? The fool with the knight of wands. This may be someone who doesn't look before they leave, who doesn't really think. Um, and so you could be the person that needs to advise this person to seek some counsel or some guidance before they take this leap of faith with you. All right. And let's see free spirit. Someone's definitely being let go of. In the month of September, in your energy, Libra, the Ace of Swords, yeah, cutting somebody off. Some of you, yeah, some of you are speaking your mind for sure about something. What's the Ace of Swords? You're you're finding clarity. The Ace of Swords, the Hermit with free spirit. I feel like you're thinking differently about something for sure. You could be thinking differently from your friends or your family on certain things, but you are thinking differently. Some of you are more traditional and your family could be very unconventional. So you want to take a traditional route. But the Hermit here does, especially with the Ace of Swords, lots of wisdom. OK, you're I feel like you're soul searching in September. Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you are going within to like find your inner creativity, to to find your passion, what you want to do, separate of like your family or what's expected of you, the world. If you guys are like thinking about changing your look right now, I feel like you do it and it's a success. I feel like a lot of people like your new look. Some of you could be changing your hair color. All right. Some of you could change your hair color all the time. That is very Libra energy, but it does feel like it's a success. You look really good. Some of you are coming out of hiding as well. OK, you go from hermit mode and searching the truth in September to stepping out on the scene. Queen of Wands with the world stepping out online, being more visible. Seven of Wands appearing to be way more um just like energetic, dynamic, standing up for yourself, very strong. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you guys are attracting somebody who's like, who likes your strength and who likes your courage. You could, so September might be a, a, like a transition month for you. Like you're getting out of one situation or one relationship and you're going to another. And so the seven of wands with the tower. Yeah. It's like you're strong through some type of change, some type of ending, some type of breakthrough you're having. Like it could be a really transformative month. Um, it does feel like there's some things like changing and going on around you that you may not even have control over, but you're staying brave and strong and courageous throughout it. Okay. There's also something about you may like, um, there could be some type of, some, some type of event that's out of your control. All right. Um, with the seven of wands and the tower, but you are overcoming it or you're, you want to overcome it. 
Let's get some advice for you, Libra, for the month of September. All right, happy birthday to you uh, early, um, to you late September, Libras, as well. It says, bitch fire, stand up for yourself. That's kind of what your reading has been about, standing up for yourself, doing your thing. So your advice is to speak up, don't back down, be clear with your boundaries, um, you're being encouraged to speak your mind, especially if there's somebody around you that makes like bad judgments or decisions here. You're being encouraged to like speak up about that, to let this person know. Um, September could feel very revolutionary for you in a sense where your life is changing. You're going a separate path that your family could have wanted or you're going a path that no one expects of you. I feel like there's energies here that you're going through like a transformative time. It's not easy, but you're going to overcome it. You know, you're still being encouraged to like stand on business and 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 uh, st uh maintain your boundaries throughout the month okay so libra that is what i have for you guys i want to thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me check out the sunsage.com